Paul Nash. What we gotta watch? What we gotta watch? What we gotta watch? Paul Nash. What we gotta watch? What we gotta watch? What we gotta watch? Paul Nash. What we gotta watch? What we gotta watch? What we gotta watch? Paul Nash. What we gotta watch? What we gotta watch? What we gotta watch? Yeah, buddy, that's right. Get exposure right now. Holla at the homie Paul Mash, man, for Paul Mash TV. Hit up Paul Mash TV across all social media sites, alright? Who we got next? Got next. Got next. Got next. Got next. Well, hello there. It's Paul Mash TV time once again. We're glad that you could join us. And we've got a great interview coming up in just a moment. But before we do, uh, on our last episode, we mentioned that uh, you can nominate uh, or vote for me for uh, best uh, radio station, even though it's not a radio station, uh, Paul Mash TV at the ISSA Awards. And uh, we'll give you the link on the bottom of this YouTube uh, uh, comment section. And there's also a link for... Uh, merchandise that you can get, like caps and t-shirts. And speaking of the comment section, uh, feel free to leave your own comments. And uh, feel free to subscribe and like, uh, hit the bell, and you'll always get the latest interviews whenever they become available. And if you'd like to be on the show, or if you're simply a fan, use our email address, palmashtv, all one word at gmail.com. And um, we'll tell you how to do that. And uh, check out our Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash palmashtv. And feel free to inbox us, like the page, uh, comment on all the things you see, and uh, we'd love to hear from you there as well. And we also uh, have an official website as well, and we'll recap everything there at the end of the show during the closing credits, so stay tuned for that. Right now we have Jay Over from Tulsa, Oklahoma. He's a very talented hip-hop artist, and I think you'll agree. And we'll get to that in just a second, but here's a quick word from Flick Jam. Don't go away. We got history. Got me feeling the nostalgia when you look at me. Thinking about what could well, it's time for interview time again, and with us today from Tulsa, Oklahoma, we have Jay Over. Thanks for joining us, Jay Over. Thanks for having me. Okay. Well, well I'm glad that you could come. Uh, we were to have this interview like a, you know, like yesterday, I think it was, but we had some technical problems, but we got it straightened out now, so it happened right. once in a while right here, I guess. So, uh, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, well, the first question I like to ask everybody, everybody has their own story, obviously, but tell me a little bit about how you, Jay Over, decided you want to become a, an artist there, or a musician. I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure you have uh, an interesting story there. Uh, sure. Um, well, back in, uh, it was back in uh, when I was in high school or middle school, uh, I used to be a, a house party DJ. And I usually know uh, a lot of people's style of music or what the crowd likes and stuff like that. So a friend of mine tells me their style of what music they listen to. They're like West Coast, East Coast, Southern or uh, conscious or lyrical. I actually figure out if I can just listen what uh, type of music they play or what they explain. I can actually, you know, make them a playlist and they actually enjoyed it. And a friend of mine who I'm still doing music with to this day, uh, he goes by Don Juan D.O.A. Um, I met him through his brother. We went to school together and uh, he was talking about music and everything. Then he uh, heard about, you know, about my music, uh, know about music and stuff. And he hit me up and he was like, okay, well, you want to do some music? I'm like, uh, I don't know if I could do music because back then I couldn't get my words right on music and stuff like that. So he's like, well, he's like, bro, you know a lot about music for a person, especially if you're a DJ. You, I mean, just try it out. And I'm like, all right, all right, I'll give it a try. So <laughs> the first song I did was terrible, <laughs> you know, but, you know, I grown more into music because I love music so much. I grew up listening to music and Ever since then, it's been starting ever since. I took my time and I took a break of music because I had some difficulties and outside of music, but I finally got myself back into it. So after that, I just continued doing music and 
writing down music while I got better and better, and I've been doing it ever since. Okay. Well, obviously, I have heard some of your stuff, which uh, obviously we're going to be hearing in just a moment. Uh, and I think it's pretty good, so and I'm sure everybody out there will agree. Um, uh, why don't you tell us some of your influences that, uh, you know, inspired you to become a musician as well? I mean, I'm sure you have a few that come out to mind. Um, uh, yeah, why well, I got influence of, uh, you talking about artist wise? Mm -hmm. Oh, sure. Um, of course, Tupac. I always, I was always big into poetry. I, I really like poetry and, you know, actually, <clears throat> um, yeah. Uh, Tupac was always my biggest inspiration on music. That and, uh, you know, uh, what's his name? Um, the Game and everybody. Basically, I'm really versatile, so I can basically, like, listen to anything. I can listen to some type of mumble rap and stuff like that. But the biggest influences I always be is always Nas because he got a storytelling of course, Tupac as the poet. Uh, I do like B.I.G., but I was more into Tupac than Biggie, because, you know, back then it's either West Coast or East Coast. <laughs> so that, and uh, I really grew up listening to a lot of West Coast music while I was growing up. So I basically like Ice Cube as well and E-40. And uh, East Coast-wise, you know, um, 50 Cent, uh, Wu-Tang, you know, then I got into Southern music, more like UGK and A Ball NJG and Three Six Mafia. Mm -hmm. So basically, like all the above. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and um, you know, obviously those are some big ones. And uh, like you said, uh, a lot of people pick uh, Tupac. Uh, basically, it's the same reason you do. They say he's really a a poet in the hip hop world, and uh, and I couldn't agree more. So. <clears throat> Uh, why don't you tell us about your music and where we can get it? I mean, I'm sure there's no physical copies, but if there are, maybe you can let us know and where to find your music. Oh, uh, definitely. Um, I just released my album, Underground Speakers. It's on uh, Spotify, iTunes, Google. You can look it up on YouTube, and it's on Amazon Music. You can look up for that. For the rest of my projects, you can check it out on SoundCloud because those are my early projects before, you know, you know, where you get the free beats and you use the music to get your music started. So, but uh, yeah, SoundCloud and, uh, oh, I'm on Audio Mac too. I got all my projects on Audio Mac. You can find all my projects on that and SoundCloud. <coughs> I'm working on um, putting more projects in on the, uh, on, iTunes and Spotify later on. I'm working on a, another project. I'm working on two more projects with a friend of mine and my solo project. Um, we're usually working on me and Sango T, who did that uh, Money in the Bad song with me. He, me and him, is working on a project. And, uh, you know, I'm working on another solo project. I'm working on, hopefully, I release like the summertime or beginning of fall. Mm, okay. Well, that's good, and I hope that uh, you'll continue to put music out there, and I know everybody would just love it there. Um, and again, speaking of your music, uh, the music video we were just talking about a minute ago, it's called Whip It. Um, yes. uh, maybe, maybe you could talk a little bit about the, that song, and if there's a story behind it, because we'd love to hear that. Well, uh, the funny story about that one, uh, I have a friend of mine who's from Streetport, Louisiana, and... Mm -hmm. uh, he heard I do music and he do a little bit of music, but he, he's more of a supporter. And so I actually, um, actually, I, my friend of mine, Don Juan DOA, I bought the beat from him and I heard the beat. I didn't like it at first. I didn't like it. So I actually put it to the side. Then I heard a song from another music artist kind of had that same platform and it kind of clicked in my head. I was like, hold up. I don't know, I, and I listened to it, and I wrote it, I'm like, whip it, whip it. I was like, okay, so I actually come up some with it. So I wrote to it, and I actually studied it, and I keep studying and playing it over and over again to study it. Then, uh, send, then I got the, I got my verse done and the hook done. And a friend of mine, uh, Big Nay, who was on the video with me, he, um, he heard the beat, and he's more, he's like I said, he's more into Southern 
music. So he heard it and he just looked at me. He's like, he like looked at me. I was like, man, put me on that. I was like, you want to get on it? He's like, yeah. I was like, all right, cool. <laughs> so uh, we, uh, I think like a week later, we went to the studio and we dropped that song, Whip It. And it was actually a really uh, fun time actually doing that song too. We got other, other of my friends was there too and we was recording it. Then uh, after that, uh, after the song is done, I let him, uh, get, I gave him a copy of the song and he played it to his people and all of a sudden it started like blowing up. Like I, he put it on his Instagram, he put it on his Facebook, he did a snip to it and he, he has connections to the, uh, some people, music connections. And so it blew up ever since. So since then, uh, I knew a guy who was actually doing a video deal. And I told him about the uh, uh, the video deal. And I was like, hey, we can both split this uh, video. We can actually do a video. And he was like, yeah, he's down for it. So we made a good deal on the music video. Then we hit up at the location not far where I'm staying at right now. and. We record the video right there ever since. It took him a while to actually edit the video, but a lot of people, he was actually, you know, getting to it at first, but he finally uh, sent me the uh, my video to the email, so, and he sent me the snip, and I sent it to him, and he put it on his Instagram, and I put it on my YouTube channel, and by far, it was like the most viewed video I ever had in my uh, channel. Hmm. Okay. Well, obviously, uh, it is a good video, as I said earlier, and I know everyone's dying to get into it. We'll get into that in just a second, but uh, I uh, I just thought I'd let you know I think that's about all we really need for now, uh, Jay, and we appreciate you coming on the show. We'd love to have you back, so maybe you can come back sometime. Oh, absolutely, man. Thanks for having me, yeah, man, and uh, we should do this again sometime. I'm down for it. <laughs> yeah, uh, just let me know, and we'll see what we can do. Uh, all right. And right now, let's watch Whip It by uh, Jay Ober right here on Paul Mash TV. Don't go away. Yeah! Whip it, whip it, whip it, whip it, whip it. I'll be whip it, 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 whip it. Yeah, I'll be whip it. Ladies see me, go berserk, yeah. run the ship, yeah. Captain Kirk, smoking on that perk. I'm back on my bullshit, I'm swerving my new whip, yeah. she's on the pole, yeah. do a trick, the whole crowd go lit. Whip it, 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 yeah, I be whipping, haters they be tripping, out here getting money, that's the only difference, I'll be whipping, whip it, whip it, whip it, whip it. Yeah. 
difference. Yeah, you know what it is. Your boy J open this motherfucker. DOA in this bitch. You know what I'm talking about? What up, Sango? Okay, G's in the building. What up, Big Nate? What up, Big Shake? Get on track with me. Get on track with me. Thug Town. Thug Town. Street Port Connection. Street Port Connection. We out. We out. We out. We out.